Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Laplace transform of a power function. That is, given the function f of t equal to t power n, where n belongs to the set of whole numbers, the Laplace transform of this function t power n is given by n factorial over s power n plus 1. So, by definition of the Laplace transform, the Laplace transform of a function f of t is given by integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt. Since in this example f of t is equal to t power n, therefore the Laplace transform of t power n is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st t power n dt. By looking up at a by looking up at a table of definite integrals, we can see that this integral should be equal to n factorial over s power n plus one. Therefore, Laplace transform of t power n is given by n factorial over s power n plus one. Now let us look at the proof for this result. That is integral zero to infinity e power minus st t power n dt. That is, we are going to evaluate this integral. In order to evaluate this integral, we need to know the formula of our integration by parts. That is, consider a function u of x multiplied by a derivative to v dash of x dx. That is, integration of this product is equal to u of x into v of x minus integral u dash of x into v of x dx. So, this is the formula for integration by parts. So, now by using this formula, you can write that this integration is equal to, here let us assume that u of x is equal to t power n. That is, we have the first the first term is u of x into v of x. That is, we rewrite the value t of n and then we write the integral of this function e power minus st. That is, we are going to write, assume that v of x, v dash of x is equal to e power minus st. So, v of x will be integral of this function e power minus s. So, it should be equal to e power minus st over minus s because integration of e power minus st is e power minus st over, over the constant minus s and the limits are from 0 to infinity. And the other term is minus integral derivative of the first function that is t power n which is n into t power n minus 1. And again we have a derivative of e power minus st we have an integral of e power minus st which is e power minus st or minus s and then we have dt. So, that is the first step and clearly this term is equal to 0 for both the values of infinity that is e power minus infinity is 0 and for t equal to 0 this term should also be equal to infinity. So, we can ignore this. So, we are left with that is the integral is equal to minus or minus plus n over s multiplied by the integral t power n minus 1 e power minus st dt. Now, this integral should be again evaluated by using the in formula for integration by parts. That is, we have n by s multiplied by the first function again, which is t power n minus 1 and the second one is e power minus st over minus s and the limits are from 0 to infinity and we have minus integral derivative of the first function, which is n minus 1 into t power n minus 2 and then we have e power minus st over minus s dt. And again by using a similar logic as in the first step, this term should be equal to 0 and then we are left with n by s multiplied by n minus 1 over s and the minus will cancel each other, the minus in the numerator and the denominator will cancel each other. So, we are left with n minus 1 over s and again an integral 0 to infinity and here t power n minus 2 e power minus st dt. And by continuing along this process, that is by simply repeating this process uh, using the integration by parts, that is now by simply writing the formula for this integration until the value of n, that is the power of over t becomes 0, we get to a point where we can see that we are left with n by s multiplied by n minus 1 over s, n minus 2 over s and so on up to 1 by s and we will be left with 0 to infinity t power 0 e power minus st dt. So, this should be equal to n factorial over s power n into and this 
integral is clearly equal to e power minus st over minus s and the limits are 0 to infinity. So at infinity this is clearly equal to 0 and at 0 this is 1 and there is a minus. So this is equal to n factorial over s power n into 0 minus 1 by minus s. Therefore the integral 0 to infinity t power n e power minus st dt is equal to n factorial by s power n plus 1. Therefore, the Laplace transform of the function t power n, that is the power function t power n, is equal to n factorial over s power n plus 1. And for special cases where n is equal to 0, the Laplace transform of the function, that is a constant 1, is equal to 0 factorial by s power 1, which is 1 by s. Therefore, Laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 by s and similarly Laplace transform of any integer or any real value a is equal to a by s because you can simply multiply this transform with number a on both sides and for n equal to 1 the Laplace transform of t is equal to 1 factorial by s power 1 plus 1 which is 1 by s square therefore Laplace transform of t is 1 by s square thanks for watching